Hi there. So in this video, we're going to take a look at Coral Draw Basics. So I have Coral Draw open and as you can see, I have one blank document in it. Now I'm going to explain this interface to you. Also, I'm going to show you some of the simple options that you need to know in order to understand some of the basic things about Coral Draw. So in this video, we are not going to design anything or we are not going to do some format conversion or anything like that. But I'm going to just explain you how this entire interface of Coral Draw works and how you can get your way around it. So as you can see, this is my Coral Draw version X6 and at the top, we have our title bar. Okay. After that title bar, we have this menu bar. So we have file, edit, view and other menu options. So any setting that we want to extend will be available through these menus. So if you want to improve on your layout, you can have settings for that here. Same with arranging that layout or adding some effects or doing some text manipulation or table manipulation. Now, after that, you will find this standard toolbar here. So you have your file option to create new file, then open file and saving that file once you create some changes on this document. So that is listed in this standard toolbar. Now anything you do with these options will be extended with these property bars. For example, let's say I have some text and I add that with my text edit button. Now as you can see, as I'm typing this and selecting this, I get to choose some option from this property bar. I can choose font. I can choose its font size. Then I can make it bold, italic, underline, etc. So you get the idea that you can do a lot with these property options. After that, you have this toolbar on your left okay and then you have these set of options that you can use for your graphic or any other specific tasks you do on Coral Draw. Also when you're dealing with inches or any other document specific calculation you need these rulers on top left and on top side of the screen okay now you can arrange this and you can make it as small as or as big as possible to get more accuracy for your graphic okay now after that at the bottom you will find navigation so what exactly is the navigation so right now you see page one here and if you want to add a new file, you can simply click on this tab icon and add one more page. But you'll notice that this tab icon will create the same type of document parameters for this new page because we are inside the same document and we are just adding the page for it. So this can be handy when you're developing some brochure, some multi-page layout book, or let's say for some pamphlet. So in such case, this can be useful to add multiple pages with this navigation bar. You can also navigate through these pages using these options. So let's say if you have 10 or more pages, then you can simply use these icons at the bottom that allows you to navigate. You can go back, you can go forward. You can add and remove 
these pages if you want simply right click and click on delete page you also get to name the option so rename page and you can rename whatever you want okay so this was about navigation bar then you have your docker where you can drop some of the options which you wish to use it also says you can drag the colors or objects here to store these colors with your document so anything that you want to repeatedly use you can drop it on this docker and on the right hand side you have color palette so you can work with plenty of colors here you can add additional colors simply by checking from palette and creating one for your document we will go on that later in the series so here you can see your color palette then you also have this scroll bar for horizontal and vertical navigation within your document so these are some of the options you get for interface and a few more basics that you can try here is opening new file so let's say you have options from your bar which is your toolbar or you can say standard toolbar here you can use ctrl n as keyboard option you can also go to file and then new same you can do for opening a new file with your existing exported file you can open that with ctrl o or you can use this icon or you can go to file and then open also you can use open recent so you can access that old document also there is one floppy disk icon to save your current file and it will have its name at the top of this bar which is above menu bar so that document name will be reflected there then you have print option it allows you to print a right from the coral draw depending on your printer setting you can choose the color of black and white design for your graphic or document then you have your redo and undo options and then there is copy paste and cut option so cut copy and paste are also included in standard toolbar then you have a search content when you have multiple documents to go through then you have import and export for the graphic element which we will take a look at later also you have application launcher which you can choose from this drop down you can open multiple coral draw application if you need to work on specific graphic requirement then you have this zoom for your document you can choose to zoom on specific part of your graphic or you can zoom entire document so if you have bigger monitor screen then you can make use of these settings and get the most of the document also you have snap to option so it can be snap to page grid guidelines baseline grid and document grid we will take a look at that also in a future part of the series and by default you get to choose your document from a variety of existing document options such as letter then legal business envelope and many others as you can see you have plenty of paper options here from a0 to a6 then a3 then r b c d and then b okay so there are plenty of document settings that we can learn and you can use so this was simple introduction to your coral draw interface and some of the options that you need to know before you start using
gonna draw for your graphic or any other requirement.